poacher. Hungu picks up the pace through the trees. Kobwa can barely, barely keep up with her brother. Soon, he nearly, nearly collides, collides with a human. The man has dark skin, rough black hair, khaki pants, and boots. He looks very much like the guide they left behind with the tourists. The tourists smiled. They enjoyed, enjoyed the gorillas. This man, however, does not smile. Hungu freezes. Kobwa holds onto her brother. She peers over his shoulders. The man is a poacher. Their mother warned them. Instead, instead of listening, Listening to her, they kept playing hide and seek. They lost their family in the thick woods. Hunters, hunters, kill gorillas as trophies, trophies, and for their fur. Hungu and Kobwa have to get away. The man points something long, thin, and shiny at Hungu's hairy chest. It's a rifle, rifle, Kobwa says. He can't get us both unless we stand here, Hungu grunts. Do you remember the giant tree that just started started to bloom? Y -y yes, but Kobwa stammers, stammers. How will flowers help them? I'll meet you there, Hungu says. Run! Hungu dives under the man's raised arm. He runs into the dark forest. Kobua climbs the nearest tree. She leaps off a branch into the farthest, farthest tree she can reach. She keeps swinging, swinging, from tree to tree. Soon, she can no longer hear the man crashing through the leaves below her. Kobwa lands silently, silently on the soft ground. She looks all around her. The air is spicy from the nettles under her feet. She stands under the tree's spiny leaves. She picks at her fur. Where is Hungu? Kobwa hopes the poacher didn't catch her brother. Her eyes open wide in fright. She will never forgive, forgive herself for playing hide and seek. They should have stayed with their mother. Despite her worry and impatience, impatience, she grabs some thistle leaves to eat. Gorillas eat a lot. They eat all day. A thud makes Kobwa whip 
her head around. Hungu, she cries. You made it. Her face is as expressive, expressive as a human's. Hungu shakes his head to dislodge a few clinging leaves. Here I am. The poacher is not far behind. Let's go. Holding Kobwa's hand, Hungu leads her past piles of dried leaves. Twigs crack with ev each step. Those nests are too old, Hungu says. We have to find fresh ones if we're going to find the family. No, Hungu, Kobua shakes her head at her brother. They will take us in the wrong direction. Direction. She frowns while thinking. We slept in the newest nests last night. Going toward the newest nests means going back the way we came, she says. The family isn't going backward. Hungu munches, munches on a nettle and looks at his sister. His forehead wrinkles in thought. You're right, Kobwa. How do we find them? Hungu asks. This morning, the silverback started walking in the direction of the rising sun, Kobwa explains. That's the direction direction we need to walk in now. Hungu nods. You lead. No, I c c can't, Kobua answers. She pulls away from her brother. What if I lead us straight to the p poacher? Or, or, you won't. You're so smart. Hungu gives Kobua a nettle to chew. She chews and stares at her brother. Come on, we don't want the man to catch up to us, he says. Maybe he will follow us to the family. The silverback will take care of him. The silverback will attack any human who threatens, threatens the family. Maybe we will find another group of tourists, Hungu says. The soldiers won't let the poacher hurt us. They have guns too. Kobwa takes the leaf and her brother's hand. Okay, this way. Hungu and Kobwa walk under umbrella, umbrella like trees. The air around them cools. Birds shriek less frequently. Frequently, Kobwa hopes their family is safe. Climb this tree, Hungu. Tell me if you see anything ahead. Hungu scrambles nimbly up the tree. He looks in the direction Kobwa indicates. Indicates. I see Mama, Hungu shouts. Then he loses his footing and falls onto the damp nettles. He lands in front of Kobwa. Mama is in a tree up ahead, he says. I think I smell the silverback now, Kobwa says. 
silverback gorillas have a strong scent. The odor lets other family members know where he is. The brother and sister run and run. They swing from tree to tree. They fall breathlessly, breathlessly into the arms of their waiting family. We're so glad you two are all right, their mother says. Kobwa, why do you look so scared? Kobwa's round eyes widen. She hugs her mother tightly. We ran into a poacher. We had to run away. Hungu tells the story. He ends by saying, Kobwa was amazing. She knew how to find you. You both have done very well, the silverback gorilla says. You outsmarted, outsmarted and outran the poacher. Someday, you both will lead this family well. Hungu smiles shyly at his sister. Kobwa knows it is his dream to lead the family as a silverback. She reaches out and grabs him around the middle. Now I've got you, she yells.